Hi everyone, I'm Zahar from Mirath. Hello, I'm Kevin from Mirath. And you are watching Chaos Sign. Hello everyone, I'm David from Chaos Sign and today I have the pleasure to be on the bus tour with Kevin and Zahar from Mirath. So, guys, how are you doing today? Thank you so much, you are welcome, guys. Yeah, first, first time ever in Finland, so it's great and this, tonight is going to be amazing for us. Yeah, yeah I think the, the tour schedule is very interesting because there are also smaller cities, that not only the capitals, you're going to do Tampere and Oulu, yeah, so exactly. do you know anything about Finland from before? Uh, I think, uh, I know that Finland is so cold, like more cold than uh, the other Scandinavian uh, countries. And... Uh, but people are really like crazy metalheads here, like more than the other uh, Scandinavian uh, countries also. And uh, yeah, and I just discovered today that you are awesome guys, like you are really sociable and nice, nice people. I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah to, to, Thomas from Camelot told me that the best audience by far uh, what here so I'm okay. waiting for yeah, yeah. We are like we are already excited to rock the stage we are already uh, we are already happy you know and that that's uh, that's very important because it gives you positive vibes to do your best in the show yeah and you're also doing some new shows on this tour that hasn't haven't been released officially yet so how has it been the reaction to you know i check a little bit the set list and you're starting with songs that people don't know so so it's kind of a bold move from you yeah terrible oh no <laughs> <laughs> actually the first uh, we we began with the first song because it's like well boom surprise so people are are like just questioning maybe like listening and questioning at the same time like what the what, fuck what is going on <laughs> what is this uh, for who that they know Mirath of course yeah. and um, and for the seventh song in the set list which is also a new song they get into this stuff because they already like uh, you know they listen to the first second third fourth uh, until the seventh and the seventh, they are like really. Even they don't know the song, they are into it because it's a really groovy song. And I think uh, until now, until now, every everybody is like uh, pretty satisfied and and happy with the new songs, even if it's like different from all what we've done in the best. I mean, the style is more cheesy in a good way. It's more accessible, more sociable, yeah. <laughs> if you can say that. More, more mainstream, mainstream, but in a very, very good way. Like mainstream with mirath, spices and sauce. Yeah, and also Kevin, you're producer of the band. So can you now, in addition to what Sahar is saying about the new material, from the producer point of view, or or from also like a songwriter point of view, uh, what is it new in the new album? I mean, what kind of you know new elements and surprises you can expect? Um, if you see the evolution of Miras from the beginning, you take the first album up. It's typical uh, Oriental mm. progressive metal, like a dream theater uh, mixed Symphony with uh, symphonics, mixed with Oriental stuff, and um, Desert Call was less, little bit less progressive, and from Tales we found our sound. The shape was changing with, yeah, within the, the, the album. The, the shape was changing, and for the last, uh, the last album, uh, Zaire told me, I, I, <laughs> I would like to change, and I told him, what do you want to change exactly? Um, I Discover want to discover other, uh, uh, other way of composing, and composing with, with, with the heart. I, I told him, what is composing with the art for you and he told me I want to remove a bit of oriental yes, and move influences but 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 moving in the south of Africa and doing yeah. more groovy stuff okay. yeah. which are catchy yeah. but not on purpose North African stuff and you know Berber stuff exactly and, and with with hard rock with mid tempo with I exactly. mean exactly so, so we moved from typical oriental. metal oriental the name is Blazing Desert Metal, yeah. Yeah. and we, we are gonna keep the same uh, name because maybe maybe it will be unique uh, also for this uh, new album. But we moved for, from uh, Oriental Metal to Amazig, rhythmical and groovy metal. Yeah. Yes. 
and uh, and uh, for me as i spoke with max uh, the our our uh, uh, ceo label uh, ears music mm-hmm. like but like in the per- period of uh, covid and i told him i'm really afraid i'm scared of the reaction of the fans especially who are used to hear and listen to uh, uh, this particular uh, 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 eastern or middle eastern sound of mirath and he told me why i told him because i want to do some other modes some other scales there are like uh, not not only minor 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 all the way you know mm-hmm. uh, 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 i want to do hard rock i want to do like uh, 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 80s stuff with with authentic mirath sauce or authentic yeah. mirath spices with our touch you know i want to do mid tempo like da, 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 da. i know that millions and thousands of bands who who plays like but we're gonna do it and it's gonna be it's gonna sound different because because it's authentic what is authentic it's something that comes from the heart and not copying other genre or styles you know just influences and put your soul in it that's it that's the perfect match yep. yeah and i wanted to ask you next about this kind of state of the industry also because it's it's really for bands like mirath that are, don't have such a long career and you guys guys came pretty much on the age of the digital yep. music and streaming and yep. stuff like that and so so for a band band your age and your size like how is it now I, I, because you know there's a, a lot of like uh, increasing cost of visas and touring and fuel and and everything and then you don't get paid a lot for streaming merch venues uh, i mean um, merch cuts from the venue so like how is it how I kind of uh, you start the pre- patron now so like how, how do you survive as a as a younger band in in the current Um, world, I mean, the industry uh, situation. I think every band should be smart and um, should optimize everything to scale. Uh, for example, for this tour, after two years of COVID, uh, the prices of the tour bus increased by 200%. Like tw- twice. So, for this specific tour, what we did is not touring with one band in a tour bus, but touring with three bands in a tour bus. To with share. To, to share the cost, the to share everything, and, yeah. and of course, we also needed to share the production and speak uh, smartly with the other bands to share equipment, to share ear monitor system, uh, front of house system, uh, common um, technicians. Uh, of course, because of this, we couldn't bring a dancer, so the production on stage is little bit lower than we, we could expect it. But I think it's better than canceling the tours like 80% of the band are doing now it's it's a catastrophic it's catastrophic yeah. today it's horrible it's really the no, yeah. i say it seriously it's really yeah. horrible i mean even with patreon and even with help like uh, uh, it's really hard to survive really hard to survive right. and uh, and uh, especially for us because you have two french and uh, uh, three uh, tunisian one of them is in georgia Two are in Tunisia, so it's like it's it's a mess. Yeah. It's a complete mess in terms of visa and stuff. Like we are always struggling. This is our our worst nightmare. Yeah. I mean, Kevin always told me, like even in the past, told me, like, I wish you could come and and uh, settle down in Europe, you know, yeah. and uh, just for the visas, just for the sake of the visas. Because even now, you know, some some uh, uh, we have like we will have like uh, a uh, South American tour. There are some countries like uh, Chile and uh, who's else? And Colombia. They didn't want to give us visas because uh, simply we are Tunisian yeah. at first, and and uh, we told them that we have the papers and we send everything, you know. And uh, they don't. It's like they don't believe us that we are really musicians mm. and that we will come there. It's like in Europe when you get want try to get a visa, they are afraid that we come there and stay in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but. The band, the band lives since 20 years now, and I've never yeah. stayed in Europe. Like I always get back to my country. Yeah. I, I've, and I would never uh, uh, leave my country because Kevin always t- tell me, "Could you please just you know make it easier on us and come to France or whatever country in Europe?" I, I told him that I have my family there. I have my, mm. 
you know i have um, my my own stuff there and i like i love my life there you know mm. so uh uh i think mentality is must change and my mm. people they have to change their mentalities or yeah. the way they're thinking yeah. and, and talking about visas even for europe it's difficult two weeks before the beginning of the tour we didn't know if malek could have his visa mm. because he, 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 had, he had a refusal on this application and the cause of the refusal was that that they didn't believe that somebody can sleep in a tour bus <laughs> and tour bus does not exist yes uh -huh. so they asked us 25 Um, hotel ah. hotel reservation for each country each place and they told us okay you didn't provide it you don't you don't go uh, yeah. in Schengen uh, so so we did all the application fr from scratch from the beginning uh, with a gigantic mail and PDF with photo of tour bus explaining yeah. Malek is gonna uh, go in his bed in this bank every day to sleep So it doesn't need hotel, and I did it to have a, a, a direct contact to the uh, consulate to to make things things move. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had like really cool yeah. cool stuff yeah. going on, yeah. and even once in Bulgaria or Slovenia or something like that, on the borders they crossed the borders. I was in the checkpoint with the with with the two police border police. And uh, of course, when you have like a green passport, it's different from uh, from a blue or or, or red like yeah. like yours. So he told me uh, like, uh, yeah. <clears throat> "What you doing?" I told him I'm a singer. I showed him the I showed him the poster of the concert, the festival. It was it was a festival. Yeah. Everything, you know. And he said like, "You are a real singer." Said, I didn't have internet in my phone. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, you could sing something for him, and he will. Realize yes, that you're that's what I did. He told me to sing. He told. They told me, okay, sing something for us, and I had to sing to pass. Oh, wow. yeah, that's unbelievable. Yeah. So, the, my next question was about you know I, I have really good memories from the Vakin uh, show you did in 2019 before the pandemic, and I was amazed because you know in addition to the music you had a you know illusionist and you have yes. like a dancer and like fireworks, yeah. and and I think that made a huge difference and a huge impact on me and the rest of the people who were watching there. So so I, it's sad to me to hear that that you have to cut on the production and you can't bring the whole show. And I've seen the 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 DVD also in Cartage. Yeah. So it's like yeah. it's sad, but otherwise we we can do nothing. <clears throat> we you can do nothing, and especially now if you are not like big enough. You can do nothing. We we are still a small band. We are still struggling, struggling, but we are happy. You know, we are really like we love what we do. And uh, and we think I think personally that it will pay one day, for sure, 100% will pay one day because we really doing it from the heart, like many many bands in the industry. Yeah. So uh, one day it will pay because because. This is how it is. You work, you get paid. <laughs> yeah, and also I, I don't know other bands from Tunisia, but I don't know if there's a big um, metal scene there. And do you think that that your international success, you know, touring abroad, has it? You think that it can inspire young metalheads to try make a career in music? Although it it can be very tough, but like if they feel it from the heart. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in Tunisia, we have maybe. 7,000 maximum metalheads uh, and within this community you have a lot of bands who are looking at Miras and uh, who are getting inspired to, 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 yeah, to do the same but I think they need to have the chance um, as Miras to, to find somebody to produce outside the borders or the government will or the, yeah but I'm not sure that the government will change maybe one day but they, they need somebody from Europe to help otherwise today it's impossible impossible, impossible. okay Yeah, yeah, it's very tough for bands coming from from outside Europe yeah. or USA. Yeah. Even the Brexit make it makes it really hard to even yeah, yeah, get yeah, to sure. uh, UK. It's, it's like, yeah, it's crazy, crazy world. Not not a very uh, not the easiest job. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
So, but going back to the tour, um, well, of course, as an well, you're the second band on the bill, but still, your uh, set can be so long. So, is it very tough now with five albums plus a sixth one coming, and you're playing new songs? Like, how difficult it is to put such a short set together? And like, there's a lot of fan fa fa fan favorites and classics and deep cuts. Was it hard to to decide, or do you have favorites that you will always play? First of all, uh, touring with Camelot um, brings us a lot of new fans. So it's really easy for us to choose what we feel uh, to be the best songs to play every night. And it has been really, really easy to put together songs to do a strong setup plus two new songs. Um, but yeah, yeah, everything is smooth it has been easy and uh, i think this, the the set list is good for people that that are discovering mi mirrors and i think that, that there is more people in finland discovering mirrors than knowing mirrors for sure yeah yeah no that's true i mean i think i think from the people that i know like everyone likes the music but maybe i'm biased because i i know people who are a very big fan of you know more uh newer bands not only going with the classics and uh so um next question i mean i know we're running out of time so but this is <laughs> quite interesting to me like is there anything on your bucket list like country venue band you want to tour with or is what ah. is your biggest dream like uh, that you want to accomplish with Mirath in the near future in the distant future uh, I would love to go to Australia yeah I mean to 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 see the metal scene there and uh, also South America we are going uh, And USA, of course. We've never did like a tour mm. in USA. Yeah. We we did like two times uh, Proc Power USA. Now we're gonna do also third time Proc Power USA. We, we will be like headliners. Okay. Uh, we will close the, actually the festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but uh, but touring in the USA it might be really 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 interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, one of our dreams is to, to tour with the really like big huge band you know who knows what would be your biggest uh you know it could be Sabaton. Sabaton. Uh, yeah um, because we are huge fan with yeah. especially with Par, which is the bass player of Sabaton yeah. Yeah, he is fan of Miras we are fan of Sabaton and his job and his way of uh seeing well, yes. business and music and so yeah one or of my Uh, biggest dream is to is to tour with uh, Pa and uh, Sabaton. Yeah. yeah, that would be a huge tour because if you could bring the whole production and yeah. combine with the war exactly. stuff and your uh, you know yeah. Middle and Eastern. One, one of my biggest like uh, wish, if I had a wish to tour with a band, that would be Nightwish. Yeah, Nightwish. Yeah. You're For me, close. it's like. I will close the book later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds very cool. Guys, I don't want to take uh, more of your time. I know you have to go get ready for the show. Just wanted to thank you for your time. You, you have the chance to say uh, bye you, to and greetings to the fans of uh, Mirrors and Chaos Sign. So any any thoughts, final thoughts? So I hope we will come back to um, Finland and uh, as a headliner with a full set with a full, you know, uh, show. And uh, yeah, actually, uh, uh, as long as uh, now we are in Helsinki, uh, we are having good fun and uh, and we are appreciating, you know, the accommodation of the people and the people, as I said, really nice. You are really nice Finnish people and uh, really sociable. Thank you so much for uh, your hospitality. And uh, yeah, we will come back as soon as possible yeah and uh, yeah the album will be released in September okay. so it means uh, that uh, we will start soon to organize a, a, a tour a lightning tour and we have to discuss with the local promoter to see how many people we can do as headliner here 200 300 400 500 yeah. I don't know and we count on you of course to yeah. push, push it to, to, to push it because we want to, to, to bring the full production headlining yeah. here Yeah, definitely. That would be great. And we'll try to do some yeah. advertising on our Thank website. So yeah. Thank you. Take care, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Stay metal.